it was in 1990 I came to Balukubi and uh, I think I was three and a half years old when uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama recognized me as the reincarnation of my uh, predecessor and uh, my father was a teacher in TCV and he was a very spiritual man and uh, even when I was in my mother's womb uh, she took my mother <laughs> to Bodh Gaya, uh, it was in 1985. There was His Holiness Kala Chakra initiation going on. So uh, Kala Chakra is very uh, spiritually very important for the Tibetan people and uh, for a Buddhist. And uh, that's where he took my mother. And after the uh, teaching was over, I was born. Both my parents were born in exile. My mother was born in India. My father was born in Nepal. He told me about Tibet, the land being very, uh, you know, rich in the agriculture and a lot of mountains, beautiful mountains. As a child, uh, you know, uh, I just know that, you know, um, there, there wasn't any sort of a hint of uh, nation, nationalism or anything, but I felt, you know, something that is very much mine was taken away, you know, like when I was told about the uh, Tibet being invaded and what the Chinese uh, the communist Chinese did to the monasteries, the abbots, the scholars, the teachers, you know, massacred many of them and did a lot of horrible things. When I heard that, like, you know, I was, I felt like, you know, deprived of uh, uh, something. The culture I'm, uh, I'm talking about is uh, the wisdom that is uh, imparted in the uh, Buddhist philosophy. Uh, that is uh, that we Tibetans kept very much alive even after its degradation in India, the source country. So we are trying to you know uh, safeguard that, have a large number of monks uh, who uh, put effort into studying those teachings, those uh, traditions that we hold we hold very important. The tradition we are trying to uh, protect or safeguard is vast, and uh, actually you need a lifetimes dedication to you know get it through. That's why we need, uh, it, it has to be a ordained community, you know. It's not just about being a monk or not being a monk. It's more about uh, a community that is specially tasked with preserving these things for this generation as well as the next generation and uh, especially to the generation that will be born or that will be in Tibet when China uh, eventually gives uh, gives into Tibet. Looking at the things that are going on right now, uh, practically speaking, these, uh, it, it doesn't seem to be coming in the near future. I'm quite certain that he's not going to hand over Tibet to us that easily or that soon. You know, we would very much want to go back uh, as, uh, as, as soon as we can, of course, as an, as an exile. The original or real home is, in, is, is, is Tibet. And we want to go back, but as I said, it's uh, very difficult at the moment. I'm a youngster, and not just uh, not just the elders. Uh, to many of youngsters, even to people younger than me, His Holiness is like uh, the Buddha of compassion in human form. Without him, I think there won't be the exile community. Uh, because of him, the settlement was there, and because of the settlements, the monastic also existed. And as you can say, because of him, we are here. <laughs>